Oftentimes in Western culture, we view madness as like mental illness, something that we need to fix about ourselves. But if you look at other traditions, they really view madness as a gift. So I'm wondering what you all think. In what ways could madness be considered a gift? That's a really interesting question. That reminds me of what I read in the reading. I think I have a pretty interesting insight on this. Wait a minute. No, I don't. Who do I think I am? Never mind. I don't have anything important to say. Who do I think I am? 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 Kayla, you really think you can answer that? You need to put your hand down. You are no help to the conversation. You need to put your hand down. You don't need to raise your hand. You should just quit while you're ahead. You don't ahead. need to speak up you in class. You can't go one day without embarrassing yourself, can you? No one cares what you have to say. Everyone is watching you. It's just easier to stay quiet. Better for you aren't going to make sense. sense. Everybody is looking at you. Want no teacher to laugh at you. you. Are you even paying the attention? attention to you. Will be answer. you need to put your hand Let's down. No one cares else what you have you to say. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be heard. I deserve to be heard. Your ideas are intelligent. Of course my answer matters. You may gift the class with a new perspective. You can do it. It's all right. You know all this stuff you studied last night. I have you. You're not going to fail. Just do the best you can do. You got this. You got this. You got this. You've got this. Of course I got this. You need to put your hand down. You need to put your hand down. Wait a minute. What if this is the worst thing the teacher has ever heard? This is the worst thing the teacher has ever heard. This is the worst thing the teacher has ever heard. This is the worst thing the teacher has ever heard. This is the worst thing the teacher has ever heard. That is the dumbest answer I've ever heard. You make me want to quit my job. I need you to get out of my classroom right now. You've got this. Actually, this could be the most genius comment a student has ever said. The most genius, the comment, most genius comment, the most comment, genius comment, the most genius comment a student has ever said. That's the most brilliant thing I've heard in my 20 years of teaching. I think you deserve a Nobel Peace Prize for that. Bravo, Kayla. Bravo. So I'm wondering what you all think. In what ways could madness be considered a gift? Kayla, what do you think? I believe that madness is a gift because the motivation and drive that we get from it develops our creative genius. That makes a lot of sense because the energy that we get from the cycles of mania really do fuel that motivation and drive to be creative and have a creative genius and builds that process. So thank you. That's incredible insight. I never thought about that before. Thank you. I know, I know, I'm such a genius. How about others? Does anyone else have anything they want to add about the link between madness and creativity? I hope I don't stutter and stumble over my words. I don't even remember going over that in the reading. I really don't want to screw this up. I really hope I don't seem dumb. I hope I don't make a fool out of myself. I hope they understand where I'm coming from. I, I don't really even remember I going dumb. over that in the failure. reading. I really don't want I to hope screw this up. Good. Be okay. I hope this is good. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be heard. I deserve to be heard.